All right, what's up, guys? We are back here with another album review, and today we're looking at Bring Me the Horizon's 2010 album. Uh, there is a hell, believe me, I've seen it. There is a heaven, let's keep it a secret. But this was their last official Screamo album. This album's pretty heavy, too. There was a tad bit more of harmonics in it, but it's still a Screamo album. It's Screamo all around. There's no pop songs in it. And specifically, one of my favorite songs or tracks is the very first one, which is Crucify Me. That has some pretty good riffs on it. But... And I also like the Fuck song. It's literally just called Fuck. I like that song. But God damn it. Oh. But this was their last Screamo album and I highly enjoy this album because I love Suicide Season and you know what I'd even go as far as to say this is their second best album. It's a very underrated album. It truly is because this album is just as good as Suicide Season. And it's their second best album. Third best would go to Semper Eternal. But this would be their second best album for me. I absolutely adore this thing. And I probably always will. Because after this album, you just got to remember, Bring Me the Horizon is officially pop after this album. Yeah, Semper Eternal had screaming in it all around. I still consider Semper Eternal a pop album. I really do. It's poppy, okay? No, that's not a bad thing. It was a pretty cool change. I like a lot of the songs in there. And same thing with That's the Spirit. It was good. Amo sucked. But you're going to see me refer to Amo as garbage throughout this entire review process several times. And every other album that I do on Bring Me the Horizon. Because Amo is a pile of garbage shit. And Danny Filth from Cradle of Filth, one of my favorite black metal bands of all time, fucking decided to do a music video with them. And I am so pissed right now because I just listened to that today and saw that. But we're talking about this album. Also, may I also mention that this album cover is really fucking cool. It's got the dark side, and then it's got the light side. You know, I guess it's like sacrifice with the knife on the dark side, and then the light side has the keys to the kingdom. I don't even fucking know. That dude looks like he's from Hollywood Undead. But. Um. Again, this is another great Scream album, and I feel like peop this is their most underrated album, in my opinion. I feel like it doesn't get enough love, because every song in this is just great. It's just as good as Suicide Season. So remember to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.